Oh, shalom, Rastafa. This is part three, and hopefully we'll be able to, you know, cipher this particular point, cipher these particular points off right here. All right, and um, we're continuing with Jeremiah, right? Jeremiah Tinbete Armias, chapter twenty-three, verse. We had left off at verse at verse three. Let's just go over verse three again because this is a this is a good prelude, right? Um, a good prep of heart and mind for those who are able to receive. And if one is, doesn't think they have received, then pray for for wisdom. Pray to Abba in the name of Yeshua, in the name of Yeshua, for wisdom, and don't doubt, right? Don't doubt, right? And and do your part to study and become familiar with the Word on your own. Find the truth for yourself is the teaching of His Imperial Majesty, because when you know your self, your true self, you're going to know the true God and your identification in the Moshiach, in the King of Kings, and His Christ. So this is for the Palm Sunday of the West and connecting with it a, a, a prelude. So in the West, it is Palm Sunday, but it's also the beginning. After this into Jerusalem is the Exodus, vis-a-vis -vis the Old Testament, prophetically, for the Ethiopian Hebrews, this is a Moedim for I and I in this very time. And we're going to prove that this speaks to black people or to the Beta Israel, so-called Negro or the Kushi, over here in the West. All right? Um, it says, And I will gather the remnant of my flock out of all countries. You've been scattered into all these different countries. So one will say, I'm Yankee, I'm Yadi, or so forth and so on. So you have to divide and conquer. You understand? But when we recognize our true identity in the King of Kings and his Christ, Christ and his kingly character, then we will recognize and we will be able to answer that call because he's the one who does the in gathering. So he's going to gather us out of all those countries, this remnant, all the countries whither I have driven them, he says, and will bring them again to their folds. This is why the, 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 the discipline, right, of the individual as well as the, as, as the two and twos and the local churches and, and your homes and your hearts is so very important. Because the original church took place in the, the homes of the Mitmanon after they were driven out of, uh, out of the Mikorah. And what is interesting is that this, uh, this uh, Western Pass, so, uh, this Western um, um, uh, Palm Sunday is known on the Ethiopic calendar as Mikorah, which means uh, synagogue, uh, interpretively in the Gentile um, English synagogue. Right? So it says that he will bring them again to their folds, right? like the sheep folds. We're speaking about the churches, speaking about the local, you know, whether churches or the family, churches or the different groups of whatever size. Or at my father's house is many mansions, Bingy Bobo, 12 tribes, you know, the society line of Judah, uh, federation, or whatever particular, the main thing is the main thing. Right, and that's the teaching of his majesty. And they shall be fruitful and increase. Because outside of that, no matter what kind of government grant, we go to the UN, we do this, we do that, you know, we tap dance, whatever like that, we break dance, it's not gonna work. And it hasn't. And we see a forty years where folks have tried everything, tried every way instead of Jah's way. So hopefully we will be that generation that'll be found worthy to stand before the Son of Man. Verse four, Kuta Al Raja says, And I will set up shepherds, shepherds. We all have a ministry or a service, a ministry responsibility in his kingdom. And I will set up shepherds over them which shall feed them. And they shall fear no more, nor be dismayed, neither shall they be lacking. That's a key thing, you know, because there's this vibe to think like, yes, that's spirituality, that's Bible, but what we need right now is real things, you know what I mean? And still, in spite of that, these, they're still lacking, you understand? Know so we first must recognize that Yahweh, that Jah, Rastafari, Zionai, Shepherd, therefore we will not be lacking or wanty, wanty, yami, yami, licky, licky, creviness, or any of those things. All that's bun out. And this is what the core and the key of the Pesach is all about as well, burning out that old leaven and recognizing Christos, Fasikachin, uh, Yosan, Tar, Lenya, Selenya, Tar, Doalina. 
Behold, look and see, and behold, the days come, the zemin come, right? The the days come, saith Yahweh, saith Egeziyahu herlotu sabhat the sustainer, that I will raise up to David, David, DVD, Dawit, a righteous branch, and a king, and we declare to you this king is the king of kings, is Kedamawi Haila Salase shall reign and prosper and shall execute judgment and justice in the earth. In his days, Yehuda, Judah, right, and holy Ethiopia, with the king of kings, Moandesa Zem Negeri Yehuda, represents Judah in the sense of the monarchy, the king's house, right? While we are Judah in this north country, you understand, as the people, but we have to recognize our true, our true divine heritage, right? Make that link, come into the Al Kidan, the covenant. In his days, Yehuda shall be saved. And Israel, now this would represent us as the diaspora, as Israel, or as Jacob, and Jacob's tribulation for the 400 plus years or after 500 years, and Israel shall dwell safely. And this is the name whereby he shall be called Yahweh Siddiqainu. In other words, Yahweh Egziyahir Siddiqachin, right, or Siddiqinet, right, our righteousness. Let me read this right here from the bottom down here. It says, In that hope, behold, Le Dawit Sadik Kuta Kwata Yemas Nesabet Zemin Yemeta Arsuma in the in the Ngus Yenegasa Ye Kanawin Letalim Be Midrim Ferdina Sidik in Yadurga Be Zemanu Uneta Tababalech Salame Mayibeza Kabaher is Kabaher de Resa Kawenzem is is Kamidar Darcha de Resa Yigeza. Now this is part from the Psalm from Psalm seventy one verses seven to nine. Befitu Itiop Yawiana Yisegdalu. In other words, in his presence, but in King James it says in the wilderness. Remember that was a wilderness, a place prepared for the woman, right? In the wilderness. So let's bring this right here so you can see the woman, right? True Ethiopia, place prepared, right? In the wilderness, right? In the wilderness. Let's bring this right here. Okay, so you see how this, all this kind of comes together in a beautiful, this is, this is the father's, this is his story. This is his love story. This is his, 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 his teaching tool. This is his media Right? You know, this is his message. And for I and I as a true remnant, it's I and I message as well. Because as Psalm, as Psalm 68, right, Psalm 68 says, it says, uh, let God arise, let his enemies be scattered, let them also that hate him flee before him. Now, it's interesting because this is said, according to numbers, this is said when the ark is brought out. And we know that Kedistin Gulmarium, right, the black mother and child, Kedistin Gulmarium is the ark, is the living ark. Mm -hmm. Just as Christos, right, is the living law, or, or the word, in other words, made flesh. Therefore, the tabernacle, right, of the word has also been made flesh or has been made um, apparent, accessible. All right, so when we go forward, it says, as smoke is driven away, as smoke is driven away, so drive them away. As wax melted before the fire, so let the wicked and the weak-hearted perish at the presence of Ha Elohim, of Hashem, of the name. But make the righteous be glad, the joy of, of Yahweh's I and I strength. Make them rejoice before Hashem. Yea, make them exceedingly rejoice. Sing to Hashem. 
sing to the King of Kings, sing praises to his name, to Kedemari Halaslas, to Abba Kedus, 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 extol him that rideth upon the heavens. Interesting in the Hebrew to Elim, it says upon the deserts, right, upon the deserts, implying a kind of wilderness, thus in the proper Turgum, Ethiopia, by his name, Yah, he who be, he who exists, Yah live, Jah live, and rejoice before him. A father of the fatherless and a judge of the widows is Hashem in his holy habitation or his Isla habitation, in his dwelling place, the father and the son mystery, the son in Mariam, right, who is the tabernacle of the Hadith Kidan, of the new covenant. Hashem setteth the solitary in families. He bringeth out those which are bound with chains. The Black Liberation, 2012, a jubilee year. But the rebellious dwell in a dry. Now, land is actually italicized, so from the Hebraic, the Masoretic, it will be in a dry. They dwell in a dry condition. They dwell in a dry land. Oh, Jah, when thou wentest forth before thy people, when thou didst march through the wilderness. And here we see the king of kings, Kedemawi Hala Selassie, going before the people, marching through the wilderness. Now, it's interesting that, that uh, Palm Sunday or Hosanna, Hosanna, right, he's riding upon a donkey, right? And, you know, black folks, Democrats, it's, it seems to be some link with all of that, right? And then also how to make a slave, the whole donkey kind of, analogy of Slick Willie, right? But see how the father has the deceiver and the deceiver both in his hands, right? So, Selah, <laughs> Rastafari, the earth shook. The heavens also dropped at the presence. The heavens dropped at the what? At the presence of Ha-Elohim, Baruchu. Even Sina or Sinai itself was moved at the presence of Hashem. El Elohe Israel, the true God of Israel. Thou, O Jah, didst send a plentiful rain, remember the former and the latter rain, whereby thou didst confirm thine inheritance when it was weary. So even though they've done everything to stomp out I and I heritage, even, even so he still sends a plentiful rain even a rain of resource, of knowledge and information from the furthermost parts of the earth. You understand? Things just show up all over the place. You understand? And the good thing is they don't even understand what it is until they bring it out so far. Then they're, oh, 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 that, you know, it's too late. You understand? It's, it's, it's too late. The best thing they can do is repent while there's time. But verse uh, Kutarasar says, uh, thy congregation, the Mahibar, the society hath dwelt therein. Jah's society has dwelt therein. The congregation, thou, the I, O Adoni, I, has prepared of thy goodness for the poor. It is he who really cares for the poor. Not these men and people who want to pretend to be your daddy, and they don't have that spiritual DNA. That's just the reality. Kutasaran, verse 11, it says, Adonai, Adonai, he gave the word. Great, this is the part I want to link, great was the company of those that published it. Now, this Torah portion, which is the first part from the book of Leviticus, the Orit Zerlewawiyah, it says that, and, and, and Moses, right, and, and Jacob, Moses, out of, from within, the Meganania Dinquan, the tent or the tabernacle of meeting. And at first I didn't even, I, I didn't get it, you know, but I was meditating since we did a couple of recordings and teachings and touching on the Kibbutz and the guests and, and allowing the Holy Spirit to guide and to illuminate. I began to recognize that in the New Covenant, this in Gumarium, right, she's the tabernacle and the, and the, and the Silat, right, that which... You know, they said a voice came forth, the light, the Shekinah, the shock and awe, and then we have Yeshua HaMoshiach, right, the child born of her. And, and within the Kedasi and the liturgies, how could she contain that which heaven and earth could not contain? 
Well, that's the mystery of God and Christ as well as his special grace to the black woman, right, to the black woman, to the black mother, daughter, and child. And it's so important that you understand this because they are trying to put out a harlot program, right, a harlot programming, right, that slick Willie Lynch, you understand, biatch and harlot programming. In other words, we have these two women within the revelation. We have uh, of the bride, right, we have um, New Jerusalem, and then we have Babylon. So one have to really choose. This is the time of decision, the valley of decision.